Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter 17 that is governing our country. So let's kick start. The pictures given below stand for the three wings of the government of India, the executive, the legislature and the judiciary. Name them. The government of India. The constitution of India has established the government of India which is officially known as the union government and also called the central government. It is the governing authority of the union of 28 states and 9 union territories. Collectively called the Republic of India. It is located in New Delhi, the capital of India. So children, it's time for tits and bits. The Constitution of India was drafted by the Constituent Assembly. It was adopted on 26 November 1949 and came into force on 26 January 1950. We celebrate this day as our Republic Day. So the branches of Government of India. The Union Government consists of three branches, Executive, Legislature and Judiciary. So, the Union Executive, the President and the Vice President at the head of the Union Executive stands the President of India. The President of India is elected by an indirect election that is by an electoral process for a terms of five years. A Vice President is also elected in the same manner whose normal function is to act as the ex officio chairman of the Council of States. Rajya Sabha. But if there occurs any vacancy in the office of the president by reason of his death, resignation, removal or otherwise the vice president act as president until a new president is elected and resume the office. The president has wide powers including pardoning power, ordinance making powers and restricted veto power over the union legislation. Council of Ministers Though formally all executive powers are vested in the president, but he acts as on the advice of the Council of Ministers who are responsible to the Lok Sabha. The Council of Ministers is headed by the Prime Minister who is the functional head of the Union Executive. The Attorney General of India is appointed by the President of India. He gives advice to the President in legal matters which are referred to him. The Union Legislature The legislative branch of the Union Government is called the Parliament which consists of the President, Lok Sabha House of People and Rajya Sabha Council of States. The President Making the president a part of the parliament is in conformity with the principles and traditions of a parliamentary form of government. He addresses the parliament every year at the commencement of the first session and after each general election to the Lok Sabha. He summons the sessions of parliament and can dissolve the Lok Sabha on the advice of the council of ministers. He can also call a joint session of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha The Lok Sabha is the people's representative body. It is also known as the House of the People or the Lower House. The members of the Lok Sabha are directly elected by the people of India. The Lok Sabha can have a maximum of 552 members. The usual term of the Lok Sabha is 5 years. However, it can be dissolved earlier by the President. During an emergency, its term can be extending for a period of 1 year. Rajya Sabha The Rajya Sabha is the upper house of the Parliament. The Rajya Sabha cannot have more than 250 members of which 12 are nominated by the President and the remaining 238 are representatives of the states and union territories elected by the method of indirect election. The Rajya Sabha is a permanent body. The member of the Rajya Sabha are elected for a term of 6 year but one third of its member retire on the expiry of every second year. 
it means that there is an election of one third of the members of the Rajya Sabha at the beginning of every third year. Functions of Parliament Parliament is a law making body. It makes laws on the subjects mentioned in the union list and concurrent list. An ordinary bill can be introduced in any of these two houses. Once a bill is passed by both the houses, it is sent to the president for his assent after which it becomes an act or a law. The Judiciary Organization Our constitution provides double system of executive and legislator at the union and state levels. But there is a single integrated system of courts for the union as well as states. The administers the union and state laws and at head of the entire system is the Supreme Court of India. It administers the union and state laws at the head of the entire system is the Supreme Court of India. Below the Supreme Court stand the high courts of the different states. Under each high court, there are subordinate courts. Functions of Judiciary Functions of Judiciary include settlement of disputes between people, between people and states, between states and between the union government and states. So children, it's time to looking back. The government of India is officially known as the union government and is also called the central government. The union government consists of three branches, executive, legislature and judiciary. At the head of the union executive stands the president of India. The president acts on the advice of the council of ministers which is headed by the prime minister. The union legislature consists of the president of India, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. And the last one is parliament is a law making body. So children, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.